sponsors. Now, for all you non-cookers and busy bees in the crowd, ones such as myself, the ready-to-make idli batter parathas from your nearest retail shop must have saved you from all those hunger pangs. Well, let's thank the man who made our lives so much more easier, introducing to you Mr. Mustafa PC, co-founder at ID Fresh Food India Private Limited. From a school dropout to an IIM graduate, he has fought against all odds to follow his dreams. Today, he manages a 100 crore turnover company, placing a ready-to-cook packaged food at every household. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together and joining us on stage to share with us his journey at ID, presenting to you Mr. Mustafa. Innovation, it's all about simplicity, understanding people, solving problems, and of course, common sense. Once upon a time, busy consumers bought their wet batter from small shops. Then, along came a group of entrepreneurs who asked the simple question, why should eating your favorite food be a compromise? And so, after nine months of painstaking R&D, tons of batter and thousands of trials, ID Idli and Dosa Batter was born with a formula that could be mass-produced using no soda, preservatives or chemicals and no compromise to the traditional authenticity of homemade batter. Fast forward a few years, batter soon became a branded commodity, sold in plain old pouches. ID knew its customers loved its batter and idlis and dosas, but what about the overall usage experience? Not so much. Enter the new ID batter pack, inspired by a boat with a larger base and adjusted center of gravity making it stable, self-standing, and therefore versatile and highly functional. ID even co-designed a wet grinder no bigger than the home version, which churns out 1,500 kgs of batter an hour, with absolutely no compromise to the homely magic of wet batter. Innovation born out of common sense. Let's talk parotas, crispy, fluffy layers of yumminess that need handmade skill. So how did ID's R&D teams meet the challenges of scaling up? A proprietary machine that mimics handmade layered parotas. Authentic, delicious, just how people love them. Uncommon challenge? Common sense. Common sense is how we entered the crowded paneer market. Not with a me too, but with home fresh paneer made using only lemon juice. No chemicals or acids, just natural, fresh, common sense paneer. A few years ago, ID wondered if there was a way to reward consumers for trusting it with their family meals. And so was born the ID Trust Shop, the world's first branded, unmanned, unsupervised retail outlet. Consumers at apartment complexes and offices could take home ID food and pay for it later, in part or in full. Trust was the currency. Independence Day 2017, ID decided to pay tribute to our armed forces martyrs with a brave and highly unconventional pack takeover. How better to inspire our consumers than our most visible medium, our packs? South India's favorite snack was also the hardest to make, the vada. So what did ID do? We invented a pack that shapes batter into vadas, common sense innovation, that identified an age-old problem and solved it. Now, everybody can vada. This year, ID will focus on building communities and camaraderie as it brings people in residential complexes together to bond over breakfast meals of its natural fresh food. ID is today a $100 million brand. Innovation drives us, common sense drives us, and our conviction drives us to serve our consumers natural, traditional food with no preservatives or chemicals. Good morning. In the name of God, Peace be unto you. 
thank you for inviting me here. It's such a great honor to be here among all these great leaders and superstars. How many of you are at Idli or Dosa today? Our grandparents used to eat Idli. Majority of had Idli or Dosa today, at least in this week, right? We want our grandchildren to eat Idli and Dosa. Can you find a better sustainable business than Idli and Dosa in the world? Can't. I am Mustafa PC, and here is my story. I come from a very remote village in a beautiful place called Vainard in Kerala. If you have not been to Vainard, you must visit that place. My village was so remote that we had no electricity in my village. We had no roads in my village. I had to walk miles to my school. The biggest motivation factor for me was the midday meal from the school. My dad was a coolie. As my dad was finding it difficult to meet, and meet both ends of the family, I ended up doing coolie job at the age of 10 with him. Three-time meal was a distant dream during my childhood days. Breakfast was a luxury. I was very poor in my studies. I was a school dropout. I later went back to school, and then I became a school topper in less than one year. By chance, I ended up doing my engineering in computer science from NIT Calicut. Got a campus offer from a company called Manhattan Associates in Bangalore. Seeing my monthly package offer, my dad felt it was my annual package because he had never seen that kind of money in his lifetime. I handed over my first month's salary to my dad. He cried seeing it because it was more than his lifetime savings. I then worked with few MNCs in India, Middle East, and Europe. I decided to come back to India with an objective of creating employment for smart kids from my village. I then ended, ended up doing my MBA from IIM Bangalore by choice. Last month, I was awarded as the youngest recipient of IIM Bangalore S Distinguished Alumni Award in front, of, in front of my parents. My dad was proud to see my name engraved on the IIMB Wall of Fame. I then joined my cousins to start ID in partnership with them. Today, ID is a thousand crore fresh food brand, serving world's best breakfast, idlis, to a million Indians every single day. What's the most uncommon subject in the business these days? What's the most uncommon subject in the business these days? Any takers? I think it is common sense. We try to complicate everything. Education and our corporate experience play a key role in complicating everything and taking our common sense away. I'm going to talk about common sense today. So how did we, how did we build a brand without spending money? How did we succeed in selling idli batter in Chennai? The answers are simple. We built ID into a thousand crore fresh food brand using common sense. We built this brand based on seven principles. We had a great mix of people, right product. We sold idli batter, not idli. We had our own distribution system to cover every store every day with every product with the help of technology. ID runs on IT today. Right packaging, innovation, and most importantly, zero compromise approach on ethics. In the interest of time, I would like to focus on an important principle, common sense driven innovation. Innovation is the most important aspect for any business. 
it is vital to scale the business and to stay ahead of competition. At ID, we focus on five areas of innovation. The product, technology, the backend, the marketing communication, and the packaging. In the next 25 minutes, I will share a story for each of these focus areas. So here goes my five stories and five messages for you. ID was founded by me and my four cousins. We built ID based on common sense driven principles. Most important aspect of any business is common sense, which is reducing dangerously these days. We are depending too much on hard tools and spreadsheets when the only thing needed at that time would be common sense. Even when we started ID, our first product, Idli Batter, we used common sense. My co-founders used to run a small time Kirana store in a place called Indranagar in Bangalore. They used to procure Idli Dosa batters from a small time vendor. It had regular quality complaints, hygiene issues, and service complaints. My cousins tried to fix the issue with the vendor multiple times. It didn't work out. That's when we thought, why don't we try to fix the issue ourselves? We started in a very small kitchen, 50 square feet kitchen, with an investment of 50,000 rupees. We didn't go to an R&D lab to create world's best idli batter. We didn't read the scientific reports to create world's idli batter. We went to grandmothers. We went to roadside vendors to create world's idli create world's best idli batter. Now, if you look at the idli business, there is no rocket science in idli business. There is no entry barrier. But then we tried shifting mindset. We succeeded, we succeeded in mass production of world's best idli batter with months of R&D. When the whole world was busy in doing R&D for extending the product shelf life and adding chemicals and preservatives and artificial flavors, we decided to keep our products 100% natural. Our, if you look at the image, that's our difference. The difference between a traditional brand versus ID. We're a 100% natural company. We are actually fighting a war against preservatives. Today, we are disrupting crowded paneer market by making paneer with lime, not with acid. Staying away from spotlight was probably the best thing that we did at ID. A homemaker picks up a pack of idli batter. He or she cooks fluffy steaming idli and serve it on the dining table. If idli comes out well, she gets the credit. The homemaker gets the credit, not ID. For, for some reason, if idli is hard, blame goes to me, brand ID. We don't take the credit away from the homemaker. We sort of protect her from her failures. It is extremely important not to over-engineer. Don't try to sell idli batter, sorry, don't try to sell idli to Indian homemaker. She won't let her inside. She's okay to buy idli batter and make her own idli. So my first message on this one is, don't over-engineer. When the whole world was busy in extending the shelf life, we invented a business model to sell fresh using zero inventory business model. So again, my first message is use common sense. It's not easy. Using common sense is not easy. But try to use common sense. Do not over-engineer your product. Never replace your customer. Meaning, don't sell idli to an Indian homemaker. Give her idli batter so that she can make world's best idli. Coming to the packaging innovation. Backend operations are extremely important.
backend operations are extremely important in a manufacturing business, which requires huge machines to do the work. As we all know, most of the food processing machines are invented in developed countries, and we managed to bring it into India. Unfortunately, Germans don't eat idli dosa. I have nothing to copy from. Batter making is not easy. To create world's best idli, you need world's best idli batter. To create world's best idli batter, wet grinding using stone grinders is the key. The same traditional approach our grandmothers used to make at home. To take a shortcut, you can't succeed. Even in our case, making batter was a challenge. Grinding batter was the biggest challenge. The traditional wet grinders available in India will grind one, three kg of dal per hour. Today, I grind around 25,000 kg of rice and dal per day. You can now imagine the size of factory required, probably 10 times of this hall. And there is no way for you to maintain that in a hygienic format. As you all see, how do you take the batter out? There's no other way. And moreover, whatever you try to do, your employees will end up doing this. Machines are not meant for, machines available out here was not meant for hygiene. It was not meant for mass production. So we try to create or innovate a machine for ourselves. Again, we were not equipped to handle or equipped to create a machine for ourselves. So again, we sought help from Germany. We went to Germany, identified a mustard paste making machine. We got it customized to make idli batter. Today, the same grinder, same size grinder, grinds 1,500 kg of rice and dal per hour, not three kg. And with the press of a button, I'm able to clean it. It is extremely important to focus on the back end. We also have to create our own paratha making machine to have the proper layers with the help of a grease company. This is where I think we Indians need to work harder. We need to focus on real technology innovation, not just on software and mobile apps. I urge, I urge all of you out here to make machines and innovations that will help entrepreneurs like me and, and India. My next story is about a bomb blast experience. We started ID batter trials during the winter of 2005. I was still working as a software engineer with Intel at that time. And my cousins were running at a small time shop. We were running business with very high wastage. When we started, we start, used to send 100 packets to the market. 90, used to, 90 packets used to come back unsold. So we were getting a wastage of as high as 90%. Over a period of time, we started selling 1,000 packets, and we were getting around 24% wastage. There was no way for me to make this business profitable at such a huge wastage. Coming to the bomb blast story. On a hot day in April 2006, I got a call from a store called Apna Supermarket in Kamanali area. He said, there's a bomb blast in my store. Come running. Said, sir, you probably would have called the wrong number. Please call the nearest police station. Said, no, says, no there's a bomb in your batter. Like most of you, we laughed at it. Bomb in a batter, something we could never imagine in our lives. Anyway, my team rushed to the store, as expected. He was very angry at them. At them. My cousin and my salesman rushed to the store. He said, salesman, so the store manager said, go, clean the fridge, take over all your leftover batter, go home, we don't want to see you here. 
My cousin politely took a piece of cotton, was trained to clean the fridge and clean, clear all the leftover batter. My salesman didn't want to give up. At that time, we had only 20 stores. Our total count, store count was only just 20, 20 stores. So losing one store was extremely difficult for us to digest. So as you can see in the picture, my salesman took a pack of leftover batter and went to the store manager. And he was trying to explain the quality of the batter to him. He said, sir, this is a great product, great packaging. We don't add anything else in it. There is no way that we, you can have a bomb in the, this batter. Before my salesman could complete, and as you can see here, the store manager sitting on a high pedestal table with a computer system in front of him, and my salesman was holding a pack of batter. Before my salesman could complete and store manager could reply, boom, that pack of batter exploded. White batter on his face. I now leave it to your imagination on what could have happened to the store after this incident. Why did it happen? Batter ferments during summer. It forms gas. It expands. Beyond a point, it explodes. It explodes like a bomb blast. We had no idea about food technology before we started. We had no experience in making breakfast before we started. Forget about making breakfast. We were not even experienced in eating breakfast. In fact, I learned the term called fermentation after this incident. Every day was a learning for us. We learned a lot from this journey. This incident was very critical in ID's journey. Last mile storage is very, very important in our supply chain. It was extremely important for us to supply the right quantity in the right store on the right day. We then focused on zero inventory business model to on our supply chain. ID is not just a battery company, and it's also a logistics company today, besides being a just fresh food company. We invested heavily on IT to ensure a daily replenishment in every store and to monitor service quality. We use ID. We use IT. ID runs on IT. Every store is geotagged. Every store is geofenced. We do around two lakh transactions every single day. And we have to get every transaction right. It is not easy to do manually. We used last eight years of data to predict the demand and plan our daily production. Techies like you call it analytics. We used our common sense. As I mentioned, ID runs on IT. Today, in a matured city, matured product, we run at less than 1% wastage. That is technology. Others laughed at us when we were building our own supply chain and investing in IT. Today, that's our biggest asset. Today, ID's IT-driven zero inventory business model is a case study at Harvard. So my third story's message to you is fresh sales. For a fresh food company, IT and distribution is the key. Let me now tell you my fourth message, which is to trust others. How many of you use ID? How many of you trust a product which comes in a pack? Very minimal count. That's normal. That's natural. Anything, 
in a packed form is considered as unhealthy by Indians. I was trying to sell world's best food, idli. And as you all know, idli is the most nutritious food in the world, as approved by World Health Organization. But unfortunately, I was trying to sell that in a pack. Anything in a packed form is considered as unhealthy by Indians. They don't trust. My biggest problem was, I want my customers to trust me. What is the best way for someone to trust you? What is the best way for someone to trust you? Or what is the best way for customers to trust us? We thought, trust them. Trust them so that they will trust you. So we ran this beautiful campaign called ID Trust Shop. We kept all ID fresh products in a chiller in an apartment complex. We had run it in four cities, Bangalore, Chennai, Mumbai, and Hyderabad. These were unmanned shops. There was no salesperson. There was no technology. There was no cameras. It was not a vending machine. There was no security to monitor it. It was unlocked. There was no one watching except the almighty God. This shop was based on trust. Customers were expected to open the chiller, pick their favorite idli batter, go home, and have a healthy breakfast. And before that, drop the money in the money box kept next to it. Customers were surprised with, the cam with our campaign. They couldn't believe it. It got us a great brand mileage. Our campaign video went really viral across the world. In few stores, we had better sales and better profitability than a retail store. Our marketing campaigns are un un unconventional. The path less traveled. It was not an easy journey. In those shops, we started getting monopoly currency initially. You know the currency is used for monopoly games. We started getting monopoly currency in those cash boxes. But we don't want to give up. We continued, continued our experiment. Same customers who were, were cheating us probably would have felt guilty and started depositing 500 rupee notes. The same shop where they, get, they were cheating us, we made better profit and better sales than a retail store. That made my day. Our August campaign last year was again completely unconventional. You would be surprised that customers uh, my retailers started using ID products to decorate the stores. We did unconventional take, uh, pack takeover last year, even this year, in fact. We built ID into 1,000 crore fresh food brand by just spending six, six crores last year. We created a Vada video, which went viral across the world. We spent just 1.4 lakh rupees to create it. We are now getting inquiries from different parts of the world to create the same thing for donuts. We have done a meet your neighbor campaign. Some of you would have participated in that. And that went viral. Again, we had around 65,000 get togethers done. Our a plan was to build the communities. We were trying to build a brand which touches customers in the heart, not just in the tummy. So my fourth message to you is, be the change you wish to see in this world. I repeat, be the change you wish to see in this world. If you want people to trust you, you trust them first so that they will trust you back. My last story is about a disruptive innovation on ID's packaging.
We invented a transformer pouch to cook idli batter, to cook idli directly from the pouch. If you see the pouch, it is a, it's a pouch or pillow pouch during transit and storage. When you Ziploc open it, it transforms itself into a vessel. You, so that my customers can cook idli, idli directly, or idli or dosa directly from the pouch. Again, this got us a great brand mileage. It helped us to stay ahead of competition. We help mothers to make world's best idli at home. What goes best with idli? What up? Vada is a great snack. We all love vada. Goes best with idli. But then it's one of the most difficult snack to make at home, unless you're an expert like your grandmother. Vada started disappearing from Indian homes, including my home. Vada making is extremely difficult, especially for the new generation. You can't get the shape right for the vada. You cannot get the size right for the vada. What is the most important thing for a vada? The hole. We Indians won't eat a vada without a hole. Vada without a hole becomes a bonda. And most importantly, new generation homemakers like most of you out here will end up frying fingers while frying the vada. It was extremely important for us to solve this problem. And if you look at it, it's a century old problem. We identified it as an opportunity. And then we had the courage to solve it. Again, not an ex easy journey. We would have failed at least 100 times before solving it. When we get the shape right, you will not get the size right. When you get the size right, you will not get the hole right. When you get the hole right, you won't get the taste right. So creating a vada vada batter pack to make vada directly from the pouch without adding chemicals and preservatives and artificial flavors was not an easy task. It took us three years to build, build a hole for the vada. Today it takes just one minute for a homemaker to make vada at home, but it took us three years. It was not an easy journey. ID's new vada pack helps you make homemade vada at home in one minute, untouched by hand, with a proper shape, proper size, with a proper hole in the middle. It took us three years to build it. I'm sure some of you are curious to know about this magical vada pack. Vada making is a science now, not an art anymore. May I request you to play the Vada video? This is no ordinary snack, a South Indian speciality. It's a favorite in homes across India, but its circular cylindrical shape and donut-like hole make it fairly difficult to prepare at homes. It needs the expert hands of grandmas and aunts or even restaurant cooks. Not anymore. ID decided to turn its attention on this age-old problem and transform the complex art of vada making into a science for everyone. And the key ingredient? Common sense. A path-breaking little big invention. The spout that shapes batter into vadas with the hole. And that's it. Squeeze, shape, cut, fry. Handmade, but with no mess, no stress. Just delicious, crispy vadas. ID, maker of India's favorite batters and fresh food presents Vada Batter in a pack that shapes batter into vadas. Now, everybody can vada. Techies call it 3D printing of vada. World call it innovation. We use our common sense. We use our common sense to identify the century old problem. And we used our common sense to put a hole for the vada. We just launched ID's 
filter coffee decoction. It's already a super hit in the market. It's an interesting pack. As you can see in the pack, it is a, it's, a, it's a pouch, but created with a 3D effect, like a traditional filter coffee pack. So my last message to you is, look around. Identify such issues and use common sense to solve it. That is the best way to build a business and to stay ahead of competition. Coming to the conclusion, what could be the future of ID? I'm just leaving it to you for your thoughts. Why not a better tiger, right? Coming soon. Let me summarize my messages for you. Fresh cells. Use technology wisely. Do not over engineer. Keep things simple. Use common sense to innovate and solve customer problem. Focus on real machinery innovations, not just on mobile apps. Finally, be the change you wish to see in this world. If you want people to trust you, you trust them so that they will trust you. Trust your customers. There are two kinds of people in the world. There are many people in the world who, are not, who cannot afford to eat a breakfast. I was one among them during my childhood days. And there are, then there are people like you and me who do, not have, who do not have time to eat breakfast today. We either skip our breakfast, which is the most important meal of the day, or compromise with some junk food. What you eat is what you are. Eat fresh. Avoid preservatives in the food. Eat fresh. Stay fresh. Now, customer care is the most, is one of the extremely important aspects in any business. ID has 1,600 employees today in 24 cities. We touch the life of a million customers every single day. When you deal with food, you will definitely have customer complaints. Something or other will go wrong. It is extremely important to stay grounded and listen to your customers. At ID, we have a very senior customer care officer. All customer issues, all customer complaints are personally handled by this senior officer. He replies to every email and every messages, every issues he handles. He doesn't have a secretary to handle this very, very important role in ID. As a part-time role, he also handles ID's CEO role. I repeat, as a part-time role, he also handles ID's CEO role. That's me. Before I end my speech, I would like to leave you with this final message with a beautiful video. It's a tribute to the most important person in our life. May I request you to play the video? Hi, Ma. Beta khana kha liya? Mama meeting is just about to start. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, good luck, beta. Khana kha lena, okay? Okay, Ma, talk later. Bye bye. Sorry, guys. Hi, Ma. Hi, beta. Work done? Yeah, Ma. I'm going out, Abhi. Beta, kuch kha le na. Ha ha, kha lungi. Okay, bye. Hi, ma. Breakfast kya na, Abhi? I'm running very late. And oh, I won't be coming home this weekend. Bye. Uh, but... <laughs> Hello, Adi. Hi, Ma. Why are you calling so late? Did I call? Ma, I'm very stressed at work. I can't talk right now. Anything urgent? No. Okay. Thank you. 
Be sure that you can do anything. Ma, I called you so many times. Why didn't you pick up? I feel sick, bitter. Ma, you've been sick and you didn't even tell me. I did want to disturb you. No, but you're right. Ma, I'm very stressed at work. I can't talk right now. Anything urgent? Ma, hmm. आपने खाना खाया Keep eating idli every day. Thank you again for this great opportunity. God bless you all. Jai Hind. Thank you, Mr. Mustafa, for joining us out here at Demo Day 2018. Such an honor and a pleasure to listen to his inspiring story, his journey through ID. One more time, please put your hands together and let's give it up for Mr. Mustafa.